What happens when knowledge, skills, character, and reflection come together? Extraordinary things. As an educator, I believe schools have a responsibility not only to teach about knowledge, but to equip kids with the skills, the power of reflection, and most importantly, the character traits that will help them succeed in a rapidly changing world. One of the goals of the 4D framework is to build an academic program that is balanced, purposeful, and impactful. Our hope is that we're developing future leaders who are going to change and make a difference in the world. The 4D curriculum has four different components. It emphasizes a balanced combination of knowledge, skills, character, and reflection. Knowledge, that's the content, the content that we teach, that's all of our different disciplines and how we put those together. So that would be our social studies, our math, our science, languages, the arts. The knowledge that our students need to survive and thrive in the 21st century is changing. Uh, we are trying to emphasize less minutia and less just sort of throwing content at students and more general concepts and interdisciplinary concepts. 30 years ago when I was in school, it was really about knowledge and a little bit of skill. And I'm excited to think about how do we educate young people so that not only do they have the knowledge, but they also have the requisite skills, they develop the character traits, and maybe most importantly, they understand how to reflect and think about how they learn and how they learn best because it's learners who end up as leaders. When we're talking about skills, we're talking about what are sometimes called the four C's. So that's critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. I think creativity is something that speaks to our students, but also their willingness, their willingness to learn. And for the students that are at Kent Hill, they might immediately, as teenagers, think that they're not creative. And one of the things that we pride ourselves in is that we have open studio and, and an ability 15 to 17 different electives per term where students can explore and try different disciplines, different mediums to work with, to be creative, and it's amazing. The creativity that happens naturally is infectious here. Um, character is really com uh, an important component. It's always been important to Kent's Hill, but what we're trying to do now is fit character into our curriculum in a more intentional and purposeful way. So we're doing it regularly and we're doing it explicitly with the students. We're calling attention to the importance of being a good person and a good citizen in the 21st century. We've been pushing our students to do character reflections. Uh, these assignments really focus on looking at the broader spectrum just outside of the knowledge and the skills that a scientist would need, but to focus and bring more ethics into the classroom. And we've talked about, we've pinpointed teachers on campus, like our woodworking teacher, how he's become a master craftsman and what it has taken him to get there. Um, one of our next uh, reflections is going to be on Isaac Newton. He was actually a bully, but yet he's recognized so highly. So where do kids stand on that? Is character better than someone being very knowledgeable? And reflection is kind of what brings everything together. Um, basically, we're trying to provide opportunities for students to think about their learning and to think about what's been meaningful for them. Students leave Kent Hill School, we want them to be strong generalists, so we want them to know a little bit about everything. We want them to have razor-sharp skills, to be excellent communicators, excellent collaborators, and so forth. We want them to be good people and good citizens, and we want them to know that that's important. And ultimately, we also want them to understand that reflection is a fact of life and that uh, reflecting regularly on where you are, who you are, or what you're doing makes for a better life. One thing I'm really excited about is the new Dirigo program. And so I've seen firsthand the power that you can unleash with teenagers when you give them the right tools. And so I think it's really important that we teach our kids that. We bring them on a journey of leadership, which is ultimately a journey of self and being their best selves, helping them to reach their potential and understand who they are. We also want them to be entrepreneurial, not necessarily starting a business, 
but having the kind of mindset that will help them adapt to a rapidly changing world. The Deergo program at Kent Hill School was designed and created out of a shift in our schedule. We decided a year ago to blow up the traditional academic schedule and create what we call our H block, and that's because we have A through G. We have seven blocks that rotate. The H block is a separate block that is designed purely for our character development, but also it's grade specific. Project Wayfinder is designed to help young people find their purpose. It's really finding out who they want to be and what they want to do. Project Wayfinder is a program that we found through Stanford D School. When we were there, we met a few innovative thinkers and educators that were designing this program called Project Wayfinder. And Project Wayfinder was really built out of a, a navigation system that is so Pacific and West Coast, but the idea of that it was really more about finding yourself and finding a, a path to purpose. And it's broken down into self-awareness, world awareness, and then purpose projects. So it's a really cool program where the students spend about an hour once a week working on different projects, whether it's their journey map that tells them how they got to Kent Hill School and why they came here, or doing something where they're tracing their tracks, like who, where did they come from and what makes them who they are. So it's about self-awareness, but then in addition to that, this, the second segment is about world awareness and about what you care about, whether it's about the environment, whether it's about different cultures, whether it's about diversity. And it's, it's a really amazing program that the students are, are designing themselves as they do the different activities. And then from there, the students create a purpose project. And that purpose project is something real, it's tangible, it's relevant, and it makes an impact. I think the 4D approach is good for students because it is a balanced approach to curriculum. Um, it is not just a knowledge-heavy or content-heavy curriculum. It emphasizes a balanced combination of knowledge, skills, character, and reflection. And I think all of those things are really key in the 21st century. I think that uh, as students are learning more about character development, reflection, skills, as well as knowledge within the classroom, they are then able to use those skills outside of the classroom. Um, in particular, reflection and character development are two things that I see a lot more of um, in their ability to resolve conflicts in the dorm, in their ability to support other students who might be struggling, um, in their ability to reach out uh, to mentors, um, both adults and students, and ask for help when they need it. Students at Kensill in this particular stage of their developmental process are learning who they are, uh, the stories that got them to that place, and then who they want to be in the future. Um, and we're helping them get the skills to be able to do that. People, place, purpose, potential. Where will Kensill lead you? <laughs>